What's going on everybody? C4 here today bringing you the finale of the Rebuild Revival. After this, wow. This is pretty much, this is the end of the rebuilds here in Madden 17. So round of applause to all you guys for all your support through all this. We have the most viewed rebuild out of any rebuild done by anybody here on Madden 17. Being the Miami Dolphins, and it was only because you guys. So thank you very much. I'm glad you guys enjoyed um, the realistic style of rebuilds that I was able to do, and uh, hopefully we can be bigger and better for Madden 18. But what we're gonna do here for the final rebuild revival, which is the most requested one, we've already done the Colts. Uh, did we win the Super Bowl with the Colts? I, I can't remember. I think we've won the Super Bowl both. Nah, I, I really can't remember. I'm not gonna lie. It's been a while. But we did the Colts, we did the 49ers, and now we're finished up the Browns. So before we jump into the Browns, let's look at what happened last time. What went wrong? I don't know, man. Like, not only did we had a couple solid shouts here, we did this way back at probably December? Somewhere. Yeah, this came out Christmas. This came out Christmas. And look, we had Deshaun Kaiser, who actually went up to the Browns. What a call by C4 here. Ogba was a monster. We all know Ogba is a beast, so we're going to be using him. And hopefully he has a big season for us. He got like 15 sacks a year. We had Chris Jones, who much like the Colts, I think is cursed in this game. Anytime we've signed Chris Jones as a free agent, he's usually a free agent around year three or year four. We've never won. So he's kind of cursed. we got to stay away from him. We got a Toshu, who's another popular free agency pickup. Uh, Sydney, uh, Jamie Collins up to an 88. That's good. Shelton, 87. Uh, we brought in Devontae Adams, a wide receiver from the Packers. We had a custom fullback. Corey Coleman's 85. We brought in Warmack, 85. Roderick Johnson, another name. Kaiser and Johnson, two guys that they actually drafted in the 2017 draft we had on their roster. I'm a goddamn Nostradamus. We had Troy Brown, the corner from Bama. Jamal Adams, Kirksey, Batonio, Duke Johnson, Malik Hooker. Uh, this guy, custom guy, Nassib, Josh Gordon, Gary on Conley, House guy. I mean, you know, you can clearly see that we had some str the roster was not that great obviously you got the 95 to sean kaiser that is a thing of beauty but the running backs i mean eh. wide receivers not spectacular offensive line wasn't bad offensive line look at that Ooh, okay maybe the right hand side wasn't so hot um defensive front terrifying defensive front or so our linebackers were good our secondary was all right so yeah, there was definitely some holes. We could have done a better job. There's serious limitations. So what we are going to be doing for this Rebuild Revival, if you watch my Madden 18, Madden 17 roster reveal, we're going to be using, through the imagination of everybody's minds, the current, as of right now, Browns roster with Miles Garrett, David Njoku, Jabril Peppers, uh, Kenny Britt, and then we're just going to act like the 2017 drafts, the 2018 draft. We're going to build upon that to see what we can do for the Browns. So let's jump right into that. All right, what's going on? We're back. And after seeing what happened the first time around with the Cleveland Browns, let's see if we can do it better here in the finale rebuild revival. So as I may have hinted, I can't remember if I did or not, I record these different parts. These rosters, you have to act like this is a season ahead. I'm using the current Cleveland Browns roster. Let's go through it. But this year's draft class is going to be the 2018 draft class, not the 2017 draft class. So I'm already, you know, preparing you for the idiots that just, you know, don't pay attention. Like, dude, what the hell? It's not the right draft. So at the quarterback spot, like I said, we got Cody Kessler, Deshaun, Kaiser, Kevin Hogan. We got Kaiser here. It's going to be a, hopefully a decent weapon for us to use. We used him in the very first rebuild. I called that. I guess I called that. That was fluke, all right? I don't want to be like, oh, my God, this guy's so full of himself. It was a fluke, but we did have Deshaun Kaiser actually on the Rebuild Revival that we did on Christmas Day, and he got up to a 95. So he's a 70, slow starting point. I think we're going to roll with Kessler to start, but who knows? Who knows what he can develop into? We got Crowell, Johnson, and Jackson as our running backs. We have the super back from Northwestern, Danny Vitale. Uh, we got Kenny Britt, Corey Coleman, Josh Gordon, Ricardo Lewis, Rashad Higgins, and Jordan Payton as our wide receivers. Definitely a position we want to look to improve upon. I think Kenny Britt's probably going to be viewed as kind of a Band-Aid type guy, but Corey Coleman certainly is a player we can build around. The tight end spot, we have David Njoku. We got a nice 78 overall. He's been a good weapon for us. DeVal, Heffler. Uh, we got 97 overall, Joe Thomas. Now, in the first rebuild, we traded him. I think we're going to hold on to Joe Thomas. He can help us win 
right now, make things not as painful. I heard a lot enough people say I should try to keep him this time around. I agree, so we'll rock and roll with that. Uh, but Antonio here, 82. We get 85 for JC Treader. We got 86 for Kevin Zeitler. And we got 73 for Cam Irving. I think I'm going to try John Greco as a right tackle. Can I move him there? We have to do a little bit of shuffling. Let's see. None of those guys can really swing. Just for the depth touch sake, let's make Sean Coleman. Obviously, you don't want a 6'6 guard. That's a little lengthy. Not a great center of gravity. We'll move him to great guard. And we'll see what happens if we move Greco. He's not even that much. Like you said, he's not that much smaller than um, Cameron Irving. So I think he should be still in the 80s, I would say, at right tackle. 83. So there we go. We're looking all right here. We're looking all right here. I mean, maybe we'll actually, you know what? Let's throw him on the trade block. He's up there. Oh, he is on the trade block. All right. Shut myself up there. So we have Ogba, Bryant, Nassib, and uh, Cooper as our defensive end. Let's throw him up on the trade block. Desmond Bryant, we don't really have a need for him anymore. We have Miles Garrett, 85 overall. Beast, Gabe Wright, Danny Shelton, Caleb Brantley, Larry Ogunjobi, Jamie Collins, Nate Orchard, Kirksey, Davis, and Alexander. Cam Johnson, Joe Schobert. We got Joe Hayden, Jamar Taylor, Jason McCourty, Brian Body, Kyle Hoom. We got Burley and Howard Wilson, the rookie. Ed Reynolds, Elson, Jabril Peppers, Campbell, and Kendred to go along with Zane Gonzalez, Beto, Cody Parker. We no more love Parky here in Britain. Cole quits. Overall, not a you know exceptional roster. We'll see, we can see if we get any feelers on Bryant or Greco. But if not, we're gonna rock and roll. I think you know, like I said, I think this roster definitely a better starting point, I believe. Then, you know, using the base rosters. Obviously, we don't have Terrell Pryor or Gary Barnish. But outside of that, I feel our roster is fairly strong. And we got an offer here for Desmond Bryant. I think we'll pretty much give him away for anything. A second and a seventh. Thank you very much. Get him off our books. I think it's only, what was that, $2 million penalty? That ain't too bad. So let's sim right now to the regular season. All right, here we are at the beginning of year number one in this Cleveland Browns rebuild. Let's see what we can do season goal. Like I said, uh, that's a note. That's a little hit and tip and trick. Sometimes you set season goals, it will like corrupt your goddamn save. It's definitely faulty, so we're not going to mess around with that. But our season goal, I would say five wins. Five wins is what we want with Cody Kessler at the helm. Um, I mean, do we go Kaiser or do we stay with Kessler? Let's stay with Kessler, see what he can do at the half season point, and maybe make an adjustment after that. But our offensive line is very strong. I expect Crowell to have a decent season. But let's rock and roll right away to the midseason point. All right, so at the halfway point, exceptional one and seven record. Needless to say, we're gonna make this quick change here. The Kaiser has our starter to see what he can do. Um, yeah, that's not. Uh, we're not looking so hot. What I'm gonna do just to cut down the video. We're not gonna because every time I do one of these revivals, because I do a live com, uh, they go real long. So what we're gonna do is for this format, cut out the midseason stat checking because it doesn't really matter, especially when you're one and seven. Uh, but we will take a quick look here at the. Uh, who do we got in the books? We got Crowell, Gordon. I mean, a lot of these guys probably could just piss off. Ogan Joby, I mean, he'd be nice to keep. But I think we're going to go with Crowell. We ended up, last rebuild, staying with Duke Johnson. And, uh, you know, actually, it's Crowell's the kind of guy, dime a dozen running back, 86 overall, that I think we could probably take to the table. We have a lot of cap that we don't want to negotiate. We could probably save... Five, six, seven, eight million dollars. Penny pitching here, and we're negotiating him once the uh, free agency and the offseason starts. So that is the approach I'm gonna actually get take right now with him. So let's rock and roll, go right to the playoffs, and then we'll do a quick little season recap. All right, so we are at the end of year number one, and we finished with two and forty. Ah, oh, two and forty. Come on, come on. I thought you would have been. Are we the worst? We're the second worst team in the NFL. I mean, you know, the Niners are going to be bottom dwellers all along. But, oh. Oh, come on. Come on. Get off. You know, get off your high horse. All right, let's look at our stats here. Phillip Rivers won the MVP. We all know the Chargers. That, those Chargers in this sim are pretty goddamn terrifying. So, in the same amount of starts, I mean, both quarterbacks weren't horrific. Less sacks for Kaiser. 2,000 passing yards, 14 touchdowns, 7 picks. Kessler in his eight starts had 1,700 yards, 13 touchdowns, six picks. Uh, actually, I don't know if they if they both had eight starts, but relatively very similar in Kaiser. Seen a little bit more successful, but I don't necessarily think we can not address the quarterback spot. Um, 
Corral, 1,000 yards, six touchdowns. Thought for sure he'd have a better year behind that offensive line. Uh, not bad from Duke Johnson. Joku, great season actually as a rookie. I mean, 74 catches, 733 yards, and three touchdowns. That's not bad. 588 and two from Corey Coleman. 851 and eight from Kenny Britt. 957 and 11 from Josh Gordon. Typical that they make the one guy that's a free agent have a big year. It's no damn sense. Well, I guess he was the third wide receiver. On the offensive line, I mean, that's not bad. The sack numbers are pretty, you know, acceptable. Defensive side of the ball, 170 tackles from Christian Kirksey. 113 from Jabril Peppers. 107 from Jamie Collins. We also got 10 and a half sacks from Jamie Collins. Nine from the rookie, Miles Garrett. Six from Danny Shelton, as well as 22 tackles for loss. He was a beast. Uh, we got three picks from McCordy, three from Hayden, two from Kirksey, two from Davis. So all in all, not a spectacular season by any means. Uh, let's quickly, quickly uh, look. So yeah, Phil Rivers got the MVP. Coach today went to Mike McCoy, Phil Rivers. Let's just see if we have any Browns. Any any Cleveland Browns here want to want to make an appearance? Kaiser came number five for rookie. We got Kessler is number eight. What the hell's what do you call it? Didn't even make that sucks. Uh, Miles Garrett came at number six. Best QB. We're not gonna have anyone. No one. No one. No one. No, Joe Thomas love? Come on. They suck every year and he gets some love. Jamie Collins coming at number five. Respectable. Kirksey number nine. And for defensive backs, yikes. All right, not a good year. We're going to have, you know, high draft pick. That's, you know, the positive. Think positive. So, uh, let's just go right now. I mean, who gives a shit about these playoffs? Let's go right to the offseason and see what we can do. All right, so in the playoffs, the Titans went over the Chargers 28-7 and the Seahawks over the Giants, where we saw the Seattle Seahawks beat the Titans in what would be a fairly unlikely Super Bowl. I was like, well, maybe not unlikely. Titans are definitely a team on the up. 35-21 to for the Seattle Seahawks. So now it is time for us to go to the free agency period with a boatload of cash. An absolute boatload of cash. Two boatloads, some may say. We're, very, we're, looking, we're sitting pretty with the cap situation here. So let's see who we can bring in. Can we get a quarterback? A playmaker at the wide receiver spot, maybe a corner. Let's see. Come on, big money. Big money, no whammy. Wow, when Crowell's the top potential guy. Yeah, all right. So we got no quarterbacks whatsoever. And we have Crowell as our running back. Fullback, we don't need one. Willie, oh my God. Oh, man. Disappointing to say the least. Can he still, I mean, that, uh, what do we got here? What are we? What are we saying? Literally, what a shit show for free agents. Okay, literally, no one on the offensive side of the ball is worth bringing in. Uh, defensive side. Uh, Gerald Hodges is twenty-six, but of course the Dolphins are paying nine trillion dollars for him, so that's not gonna work. We got uh, well, maybe someone over here. We get a nice little edge rusher. Get after the quarterback. There's no one really worth getting. Oh, my God. No corners. No safeties. We got Will Hill. He's 27. But we have Peppers. We want to try to use a little bit more. Like, I don't know, man. This is just a shit show for free agents. I don't like any of these guys at all. I'm not signing anyone. None of these guys are getting signed. Good riddance. Let's just go right ahead to the draft. Those guys are terrible. That, was, that may be the worst draft class I've ever or free agency class I've ever seen that was terrible all right before the draft as always we got to spend our XP we got to see what rookies what playmakers want to develop a little bit better Kirksey got all the XP there good guy Garrett was number two let's get this team fully juiced to the gills before I look to improve through the draft okay now it's ready to go. Let's improve this team because that was such a disappointing free agency period. Wow. We're going to have to have one hell of a draft and not, you know, be the same spot we were last year. All right, we're back. It's time for the draft recap. Now, before we did the draft, I showed you guys some XP spending. And what I was, pretty, I will say, we'll say pleasantly surprised by is our quarterback, Deshaun Kaiser, going up to a 78 overall. I think it was a 70, maybe a 71. 12k XP tops. I guess, you know, maybe his awareness really jumped up a lot. So quarterback didn't really become that big of a need for us here going into the draft. Uh, so we use our two first round picks at different uh, you know, positions, but still on the offensive side of the ball. So pick number two, we got Saquon Barkley, the running back from Penn State. 
We've used him once before in our rebuilds. I think it might have been Baltimore. Can't remember exactly, but he was really good. So now we're going with him and Duke Johnson as the running backs after we left Isaiah Crowell leave during free agency. We got Cortland Sutton, the wide receiver from SMU here at pick 17, a 75 overall. Now we don't always hit. I hit on a lot of picks here. But look at the second round, 64 overall corner. Terrible. Second round, we got Sean Dion Hamilton, the linebacker from Alabama, 68 overall, but he's nothing special. We got Jamarco Jones, left tackle from Ohio State in the third round, 76 overall. I am a beast at drafting offensive linemen. What can I say? Uh, we had a fifth round pick here in the second. At number two, we got Lorenzo Carter, the outside linebacker from Georgia. Uh, you know, eh, maybe you might. You probably got to start for us. Uh, just random guy, didn't turn out. But then we got Andrew Wingard, the free safety from Wyoming. Uh, was pretty much the only stud, my only real steal uh, that I knew about going into the draft, and we were able to get him in the seventh round, 71. That's great value. So where all, where all these guys fit in at? Well, we'll have to just wait and see after the preseason. So we'll be right back after we do that. All right, we're here at the beginning of year number two here in the Cleveland Browns rebuild. And let's take a quick gander at our roster slash depth. Actually, well, let's, yeah, let's go depth chart. Just to, be, just to be certain, sometimes there's a little funky funky business going on. So the starting quarterback spot, we're going to Sean Kaiser, who's up to a 78 overall. He got up to a 95 in the first attempt of this rebuild, and then he actually got drafted here. And he went from a 70 to a 78 last year. I mean, same amount of starts. Cody Kessler didn't develop at all. We got up to a 78 with Kaiser. I don't necessarily think he's going to hit that 95, but we're going we're to ride and die by Kaiser at least for one more year here with the Cleveland Browns. At the running back spot, we have Duke Johnson and Saquon Barkley as our two running backs. We'll have Barkley be the lead back. Uh, he bulked up a little bit. I'm pretty sure I edited him down to 225, and now he's 232, so he put on some weight. Hopefully, he's not uh, trying to be Eddie Lacy 2.0. We got uh, random fullback, who cares? Our receivers, we got Corey Coleman, Kenny Britt. As you know, the guys from last year, Corey Coleman still will probably be the guy we tried to, to build around. But we got Cortland Sutton out of SMU in the first round. He's going to be our wide receiver three, so that means he's probably going to get some uh, nice little box scores and some finished stat line here. We move Hollywood Higgins to the four spot because I'm a fan of him as well. Tight end, we have David Njoku up to an 80. I think he was a 76 maybe last year, 76, 75. Let our team in reception, so big rookie season from him. He's our lead tight end. We have Joe Thomas at tackle. We got Jamarco Jones learning a thing or two from the vet. Uh, Joel Batonio, J.C. Treader. We got Kevin Zeitler. And at right tackle, John Greco with an 80. So over, average overall of our offensive line is probably 83, 84. That is good enough to win some ball games here. Uh, we have left defensive end Emmanuel Ogba, who wasn't as impressive as he was in the first sale. But maybe that was just first-year jitters, and hopefully you can pick it up this season. To pair with Miles Garrett, who was at 85 last year, still in 85, but still fairly impressive after he got nine sacks. Uh, defensive tackle Danny Shelton up to an 85 overall after he had 22 tackles for loss last season, which is very good stat line from uh, from Mr. Shelton Brantley here with a 72. Our linebacking core, we have Jamie Collins, 88. Christian Kirksey, 86. Demario Davis, 75. And Lorenzo Carter, our was he, fourth round, fifth round draft pick, starting at right outside linebacker with a 72. Sorry, jumping into the second year, we're going to have Joe Hayden, Jamar Taylor, and we're going to move Brian Body Calhoun here to be a starting, or nickel slot pointer, whatever you want to call him. Because at free safety, we are looking a little weak, and let's move Jason McCourty there. I think that's probably going to be the best fit, 83 overall. I mean, we do like to get the rookie some stats, but that is too big of a gap not to have McCourty starting in our secondary to pair with Jabril Peppers, who's now a 75 overall. So looking at this season, oof. Because we didn't hit really on anyone in free agency, I'm going to say three wins, two, three wins again. It's going to be a down year until we can actually spend a lot of this cap money on some free agents. But hopefully we can get there at some point. But let's send the half way point and see where we're at. I'm going to say one win. I'm going to guess one win. Oh, shit. All right, we're back and we're sitting at a four and three record. Now, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have to come on and say I was lying. I, the, my video software ended up crashing the first time I did this, sending to this point, and we were one and seven. But now we're four and three. I did nothing different. So I guess it's every, you know, the really you have the mercy of the sim if he wants to help you out or not. But sitting at a four and three record, that gives us, well, okay. It's going to be tough to, to make the playoffs. But four and three, you know, best case scenario, I was thinking five wins this season. So we may be able to hit that. That's not bad. Looks like everyone is being fairly productive on the offensive side of the ball. Uh, so let's look at the contract negotiations here and then get right to the playoffs. Kirksey, we want, let's see, who do we really want to bring back? Oh, my God. Because I edit the rookies, a lot of them are up now for contracts. 
All right, Caleb Brantley. I mean, your depth you could probably go. Dem Davis. All right, we gotta get Peppers back here. We'll we'll still hold on to him. Will you come back? Okay, we got Peppers. We got Kaiser. Oh my God, if we get Kaiser on this kind of deal, okay. We're still, we might be able to get our franchise quarterback here on a fairly affordable deal. We got to bring back Njoku. Okay, you can go fuck yourself. Batonio, 82. He's a serviceable guard. We got him back. We got to get Kirksey. He's a very solid linebacker. 86 overall this far in. And all these guys are greedy assholes that want to make more money. Trying to suck the teat out of this. I guess we'll skip this week of scouting. I have a couple prospects I'm liking. I got a couple, a couple guys that look like they're going to make that big time transition to our team we want to get five and three what the hell is this this is crazy all right Crixie wants a little bit more money so we'll give him the plus two treatment oh go fuck yourself Kirksey. free agents okay give you the plus two treatment i'll give you a plus there you go round round some nice round numbers there okay we got joku back we need kaiser we'll give you the plus two a little bit of plus plus two treatment oh sh okay we that might sting a little bit we were such cheap. Ah, oh, Jesus Christ, that's gonna cost us. Well, maybe not if we don't spend his XP. Oh, it's not. Oh, Jesus Christ. Well, we have a bunch of money. That's the positive to look into this. We have a bunch of money. We may not make the playoffs. We're not gonna spend any XP. Cause I think if we resign him, we get all that XP back anyway. So we're not gonna make Kaiser like an 84, 85. Cause it seems like that's how much he wants to jump. Uh, but it's gonna be somewhat risky free agency period. Let's go right to the playoffs. Or I'm gonna do some scouting, but we'll go right to the playoffs when you guys see it next. Back, let's see how we finished this season. We were five and three, and we finished nine and seven. Tied for first in the AFC. But unfortunately, the man who very well may have got us to this point is set to be a free agent, so we're gonna have to pay a lot of money. We're not gonna let him go. We I don't think there's gonna be too many teams that have more money to throw around than we do. I mean, Kaiser wasn't even really that ex exceptional. Finished the year 3,800 pass, through we'll roundup. 3,900 passing yards, 29 touchdowns, 14 picks. Um, we're, we're gonna bring him back. Let's put it that way. Unless literally, there's like a, you know, sometimes Derek Carr's available and stuff like that. But good year from Kaiser. Running the ball as a rookie, Saquon Barkley, 1,200 yards and 10 touchdowns. So that's an upgrade, just a little bit, but a decent enough upgrade over Isaiah Crow from last year. 536 and nine from Duke Johnson. So that's a two-headed running back attack. I can get behind. Yeah, it's seven fumbles, though. Ugh. Uh, Kenny Britt led the team with 81 catches, 890 yards, two touchdowns. David Njoku, 69 catches, 840 and eight. Corey Coleman, 873 and seven. Cortland Sutton, 660 and five. And uh, Duke Johnson got four touchdowns there. And the defensive side of the ball, Christian Kirksey, another guy going to free agency. 143 tackles, 103 from Jamar Taylor. Uh, from sacks, we got 14 from Miles Garrett. Miles Garrett is making Emmanuel Ogba not look so hot right now in the sim, which kind of sucks. Seven from the rookie, Colenzo Carter. Seven from Jamie Collins. Six and a half from Ogba. And we got three picks from Kirksey, two from Jabril Peppers. So our secondary could play a little bit better, to be honest with you. Uh, we'll quickly look at the awards. MVP went to Russell Wilson. We had no one. Uh, Coach of the went to Marvin Lewis. And the Browns, the Browns go 9-7. They don't make it. Come on. Oh, there we go. Yeah, who jacks the number eight? There we go. Uh, offensive play of the year. Let's just look for Browns here. We're not going to look at anyone else. Uh... Hey, Kirksey came at number six for Defensive Player of the Year. The offensive rookie went to Saquon Barkley. Cortland Sutton came at number five. Defensive Rookie of the Year went to, ah, oh, Carter coming in at number two. Best QB. Kaiser coming at number nine. Best running back. No one. Wide receiver. No one. O-line. Joe Thomas. There's old man Joe getting number one. Glad we held on to him this time and didn't try to flip him for some decent picks. Seitler coming in at number seven. D-line. We got Miles Garrett, number four. Let's go. Linebacker, we got Kirksey somewhere. Number six for Kirksey. And defensive back, I imagine we wouldn't have anyone because our linebacker led the team in interceptions. So it's going to be a very interesting free agency period. But let's sit here to the Super Bowl and uh, we'll see what we can do. Okay, here we go. Let's see who won the Super Bowl here, everybody. It's uh, Chet Cheddarson trying to bring back this uh, this commentary here. So the Chargers went over the Chiefs. Big surprise to go to the Super Bowl, and the Seahawks are returning. And the Super Bowl went to the Seahawks. I think that's back-to-back -back Super Bowls for the Seahawks as the Chargers fell short 42-38, to which is pretty good. But now it's time to get to the moment everyone here really cared about, and that's us with our big fat wallet. What's 
Hugh Jackson and C4 going to do in free agency? Well, interesting that you said that. Let's see how much money we're going to be able to throw down. We got, oh my, we don't even have that much. We only have $37 million. Okay. So, what we got here? Quarterback. We want Kaja back. Thank you very much. We're going to need to get him back here. I think that was at least pretty much like the same offer we're going to get. Okay, we we're going to overpay him just a little bit. Patty Mahomes is there. What? That's just what happens when you, you know, kind of custom rookie. We can go Mahomes if we need to. If we're not sold on Kaja. But Kaja's got us to 97. I think anytime you get the Cleveland Browns to a 9-7 record, you're worthy to be their starting quarterback. We're fine at running back, fullback, we're fine. Wide receiver, we got Larry Fitzgerald, but he's a little uh, up there in age. Um, hey, maybe a Marquise Lee might be nice to mix in here with Corey Coleman. You know what? I think that's what we're going to do. We'll try to get, we'll come back to Marquise Lee. Just make sure there's nowhere else we can drastically improve upon. Center, maybe, no, we're good, center. Good here, we're good here. We're good here. We're good here. We're good everywhere, baby. Oh, Tack McKinley. He's available. Hmm. Okay, we're going to want Kirksey. Who are the. Oh, it's so unrealistic. Obi oh, Bevel Fawn. Uh -huh, that's what you need. Um. Okay, well, here's what we're going to do. Here's what I like to see. We got to get Kirksey back. He's very valuable to this team. Oh, my God. Come on. You got to make us run up the price on Christian Kirksey. Is that what we're doing here? What's that? Does that give us Christian Kirksey? There we go. I want Kirksey, and I kind of want Tack McKinley to be our outside, our other outside linebacker. I'm not gonna go. I'm not gonna go higher than 40, 40 mil though, because we had Lorenzo Carter. Yeah, we were not gonna. Bills are paying a lot of money for him. We got Zach Cunningham's there. I mean, what's Lorenzo Carter at? He's a 72. We haven't spent his XP yet. But I think we may be better off not getting him. But what I do want to do... Ortiz is there. Yeah, can we add Tease Table to the mix here? That would be a nice signing. Low-key signing. But what I want is Obi Malafano to be my free safety. That is bargain pale right here. We're going to be able to get him for under like $10 million. Alright, I guess... The one time I use my actual rookies, maybe uh, it's not a good idea. Not a good format here because they're all just going to be goddamn free agents. But I think we're going to get a decent haul, decent name value. We should be able to get Tease Tabor, Melo Fonwu, Deshaun Kaiser, and Christian Kirksey back. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go with the benefit of the doubt. We probably could bring in Tack McKinley if we really wanted to. We got, we got Tabor, Kaiser, Melo Fonwu, and Kirksey. All right, so we're good enough here to go. Uh, I feel all right with who we scouted. Uh, to go right to the draft. Alright, it is draft time, but first we're going to spend our XP, and this time we'll pay a little bit more attention, just in case Kaiser goes up to something outrageous, you guys can understand. It. Okay, Barkley, 24k. Where's Kaiser at? Did we lose all that XP? Oh, yeah, 7,000 XP. Alright, let's see what we can do. We'll just auto-upgrade. I trust the game to do what's best for this team. Uh, what do we got? Kaiser stayed at 78. What the fuck? Barkley, 79. No one really developed. That's, that's, what, that's exactly what we learned here. No one felt like developing. Oh, Jesus. Okay. Okay. Oh, hey, Miles Garrett up to an 87. Day Shelton developed very nicely. All right. All right, cool. All right, I see what we're doing. Let's go to the draft. All right, we're back. Post-draft. Let's see what we have. This is probably going to be the last draft. We have real prospects. This is kind of tough. This is pretty tough. We got in the first round, pick 20. Toby Weathersby, who's a 78 overall right tackle. I mean, it's a little bit of an upgrade over what we had in Cam Irving. I don't think Cam Irving's going to develop a lot more. We lost John Greco in free agency. But there was a corner and a wide receiver. Both went to 78. Um, one of them was a guy that didn't attend the combine. I was so tempted to pull the trigger on him. But they were both gone, so we just went right tackle. That's what we got. 78. Can't be too wrong with that. And the other prospect we got was Amon Richards, a wide receiver from Miami. Very, very talented. You guys are going to be hearing about this guy. A lot of buzz during this upcoming college football season. He's very, very talented. So we got him in the second round. 76 overall. And that superstar development trait. So the pair of Amon Richards with Corey Coleman and Cortland Sutton is going to be a beautiful thing. Um, this guy here, he's a 72 overall. I straight up drafted him. Let's see. What's his strength? 92 strength. 
both these guys had over 40 on the bench press, and I can't remember the last time I saw offensive lineman that was getting consistent with 40. I think Weathersby had a 41, he had a 40, so I had to pull the trigger. But then, one guy in round seven got a 43 on the bench press. We drafted him, and look, 75 overall. I didn't edit him, he's gonna be this year's just non-edit steal. Alex Bloomberg from Navy. Couldn't believe it. What the, only 80 strength? Okay, that does not correlate whatsoever. Whatsoever, but a 75. I don't know what's developmental trade is. Quick, again. Here we go. Thank you very much. One of the better picks I've ever had. And hopefully, we can, you know, have a competitive roster and try to improve upon our 9-7 and seven record. So let's jump right ahead through the preseason and get ready for the regular season. All right, here we go. Year three. Let's lock and load. Take a quick look at our depth charts. See what we're looking at here. Uh, unfortunately, Deshaun Kaiser did not develop any from his 78 last year. Still sit at his 78 this year. Um... I'm going to say I'm going to give him this year. If he doesn't develop, we probably aren't going to win a Super Bowl with a 78 overall quarterback. And hopefully uh, he can do just that. Uh, we got Duke Johnson, 79. Barkley, 79 against Barkley will be our uh, lead back here. Fullback is him. Wide receivers, we got Corey Coleman, Kenny Britt, Corlin Sutton, and Amon Richard. What we're going to do is do that. We're just going to switch Richards with Kenny Britt. It's not a bad wide receiver core, though. Again, no studs. No studs, but anyway, but hopefully these guys can have a big year. We might be able to finish with potentially three guys with an 80 overall going into next season. So that's neither here nor there. We need to perform right now. Uh, tight end, we have David Njoku, who's up to an 82 overall. He's been very productive for us in his first two seasons here. Offensive line, we still got old man Joe Thomas, 93. Excuse me, Betonio, 82. Treader, 85. Zeitler, 86. And at right tackle, where are we going? Rookie Toby Weathersby. Let's see what this man can do. As they're starting right tackle. Ogba, 79. We got Miles Garrett, 87. I think he had uh, 14 sacks last year. Led the team in sacks. We got defensive tackle Danny Shelton, who's been a monster. An absolute monster for us. A couple. Maybe, oof, Xavier Cooper, we're going to make you our top depth. Congratulations. Uh, left side linebacker Jamie Collins. We got middle linebacker Christian Kirksey and Sean Dion Hamilton. To pair with Lorenzo Carter, who had seven sacks last year as a 72 overall. Only jumped up to a 74, which is kind of disappointing. Uh, secondary, we got Jamar Taylor, Joe Hayden, and Brian Body Calhoun. Also brought in Tease Tabor. But I think what we're going to do here... Someone suggested this. And that's what we're going to do. So we're going to go with Tease, Jamar Taylor, Tease Tabor, Brian Body Calhoun. And at free safety, we're going to go with Joe Hayden. I've heard... Countless times I should use Joe Hayden as my free safety. So that is what we're going to do. And at strong safety, we're going to go Jabril Peppers. What's Melifondo as a free safety here? Oh, he's only he's 78. Hmm. Maybe Melifondo. Ah, no. We'll, we'll, just, we'll just roll with this right now with Joe Hayden as uh, as our free safety. See if he can make some plays. I think he can. I'm a, you know, Gator bias and all that. So let's go. Let's sim to the half-season point and see what we can get. With this new and improved team. It's 9-7 last year. Hopefully we can get at least that. But I realistically am not expecting playoffs for the 2019 season. Right, we're here at the half season point. 3-4. We were 4-3 and three last time. So struggling a little bit on the offensive side of the ball. Which is disappointing to see. Uh, I mean, we're still on the hunt for the AFC North, but again, man, we need to hit on free agency with some offensive playmakers, I think, even though we've been drafting a bunch. Let's look at the free agents here. Yeah, good old Joe Thomas. I think we're going to have to bring him back for... Oh, you got to bring him back for that. There we go. We got Joe Thomas back. Miles Garrett, I mean, we got to bring him back at all costs. Uh, Danny Shelton, again, another guy. We got to bring him back. Oh, Jesus Christ, we're not going to have a lot of money left. Zeitler, need to bring him back. Treader, we need to bring him back if we can. Oh my god. At least, hey, we're, we're signing checks. It's coming hot out the press. Treader. All right, we got Treader. Duke Johnson, we're going to let him walk. Kenny Britt's gone. Body Calhoun, I think we'll try to bring him back. There we go. McCordy can go. Irving. Most of these guys can go now. So, hey, hey, that, not too often does free agency go as smoothly as that. Especially when you're a 3 and 4 team. Maybe you guys are thinking about brighter pastures elsewhere. But that's, uh, you know. Let's see what we can do in the back end of this season. Hopefully pick it up. Let's jump right to the playoffs. All right, we're back. Don't know the record. Gut feeling that we did not do very well, which is unfortunate because we're kind of, you know, we're in quicksand right now. We're not going up or down. We're staying in the middle, which you can't do in a five-year rebuild. 
And we are, oh my god, Barkley got nicks as a starter offensive line is playing bad, especially after he sunk a bunch of money into the offensive line. Why is Kenny Britt starting? What the fuck happened to my depth chart here? 5 and 11 because my depth chart wasn't what I wanted. God damn it. All right, let's look at the stats here. Final season stats. 3,300 yards, 22 touchdowns, 16 picks from the Sean Kaiser. We got 1,100 yards, 9 touchdowns from Berkeley, 556 and 9 from Duke Johnson. We got 69 catches, 859 and 5 from Corey Coleman, 657 and 7 from Njoku, 887 and 5 from Sutton, and 554 and 3 from Amon Richards. And on the defense side of the ball, 131 tackles from Kirksey, 112 from Peppers, 110 from Sean Dion Hamilton, 11 sacks from Miles Garrett, 9 from Jamie Collins, and uh, second, man, we have to get a, a playmaker in the second. Those interception numbers are not acceptable. Getting teased Tabor last year in free agency clearly wasn't enough. Oh, that's disappointing. Let's quickly look at the yearly awards. I'm just going to look at the MVP and the coach. The MVP went to Le'Veon Bell, and coach of the year went to Marvin Lewis. Is that Tammy Abraham? Oh, it's a, it's a soccer player. All right. Uh, I don't give a shit where accolades are. I'm sick and tired of this, man. We got something has to happen. Let's go right to the let's go right to the off season. All right, here we are looking at the playoffs. The Denver Broncos won over the Patriots 29-13. The Packers over the Falcons 38-35. Set up a Broncos Packers Super Bowl with the Green Bay Packers and Aaron Rodgers get themselves another Super Bowl ring 27-13 over the Denver Broncos, but the Cleveland Browns were sitting at home on the couch where they deserve to be after a 5-11 season. It's not just not good enough, man. Absolutely not good enough. We need to certainly hit on some big money free agents. I don't know how much money we have because we had to sign pretty much half our offensive line. Miles Garrett, franchise player of the defensive side of the ball. I, we might not have a lot of money. 22 mil, I guess we could probably still sign a big guy or two, but we've yet to find that big fish. We have a, oh, maybe here. Maybe here, quarterback. Okay, no. Jay Jai, 93. My, why isn't Barkley developing? Frustrating, man. All right. You know what? Sometimes you just need... We're, we're going to get Alshon Jeffrey. Those wide receivers aren't getting the job done. Even though we've drafted and invested high pick after high pick, they're not getting the job done, man. We need to have better production, and I can't really lay all the blame at this given point on the quarterback. Uh, we got Solomon Thomas is there. I mean, we're fine here on the line. Uh, Collins is good. I mean, we all know Kiko's a monster. Maybe we bring in Kiko. Ron Darby, Jalen Collins. Let's bring in Jalen Collins. Give you a nice little offer there. Heath, McDougal. All right, we're going out, Sean. It's hopefully we'll work with the Philadelphia Eagles, and hopefully it'll work for us. Don't have a whole lot of money, but like I said, we're, we only got we have two more years left to win, and those wide receivers are not producing nearly enough. Even though we've had what three first round wide receivers, sometimes you just get to pull a you know a New York Giant and just spend three hundred million dollars in one position, and you may be good finally. All right, we got Alshon. We're gonna get um, Jalen Mill or J yeah Jalen Mills. Who is it? Not Jalen Mills. Jalen Collins, that should be our two free agency signings. Again, though, fairly disappointing that we have yet to be able to get multiple impact playmakers, but it's not always going to work that way. In year four, next year's offseason is usually the money year, so we get Alshon and Jamie Collins. Let's go right until the draft. All right, we're here at the draft. As always, let's spend some of this XP. What are we going to be able to do? Can anyone develop and not be terrible? That would be awesome. That would be absolutely awesome. I think we won't... Man, I don't know. I think we're kind... Like I said, I think the best way to describe where our team is at right now is that we're in quicksand. We're not going up. We're not going down. We're just, you know, an acceptable 6-7 win team, if that. But, you know, we're going to change that through the draft and free agency. Let's try again. Maybe we won't invest in another first-round wide receiver. Who knows? Let's see what we can do. All right, here we are. The draft going into year number four. Good draft. Exactly what we needed. Adding on to Alshon Jeffrey and Jalen Collins of free agency, we had Andre Burst at number three in the first round, a corner from Louisville, 78 overall. Second round, we get a quarterback. I mean, in case Kaiser goes down, I mean, I don't know. Kessler's not going to be the guy. I think this guy, Connor Snyder, 74 overall, top quarterback, was projected to be first round, was still available in the second round. Figure that should be where we go. 
bust and bust. We fell in love with the intangibles here with Sylvester and Gaston. Either one of those guys are spectacular. We got a 70 overall right outside linebacker in the fifth round. But there we go. 76 overall tight end in the sixth round to complement what we have in David Njoku. Uh, so overall, I mean, those are two great finds. But hopefully the corner can help us out because our secondary needs to get better. I mean, every year we've had very, very lack of playmaking ability. Could be the best way. So let's jump right into the regular season. And hopefully here in year four we can find some success that we had in year number two. All right, here we go. Going into year number four. Okay. Uh, I, I don't know if we did enough. Hopefully we did. I mean, this roster here is probably as good, if not better, than the 9-7 year. So hopefully the Sim pays some pity on us. We have Kaiser up to an 80 overall, our starting quarterback. Running back Saquon Barkley, 81. We got Pimentel. I guess he's our, you know, our nice 76. Six-rounder. We'll be playing fullback. We got Alshon, Corey Coleman, Cortland Sutton, and Amon Richards. All four wide receivers can make plays. I'm debatably thinking about switching up the offensive playbook to maybe the Saints. I think that's what I'm going to do. So that hopefully all four of these wide receivers can get involved. I don't know if that's going to really matter too much in the Sim. Uh, we have Joku, 84 tight end. Offensive line is Joe Thomas, Joe Petonio. We got JC Treader. We got Kevin Zeitler. And we got Toby Weathersby up to an 81. Agua, 79. We got Miles Garrett up to an 89. D tackle Danny Shelton, 87. He's been very good. Our linebacker core stays pretty much the same as it's been the last couple of years. Jamie Collins, Christian Kirksey, Sean Dion Hamilton, and Lorenzo Carter. Jumping to the secondary now. Hopefully, new and improved. Jamar Taylor, Joe Hayden. Jalen Collins, Andre Burse, and Brian Body Calhoun as our free safety. We're going to be going with Obi Melifon. We're trying things a little bit different because the Joe Hayden experience at corner didn't really work out so well. And we have Jabril Peppers here with a 78. So I don't necessarily know if our secondary's got good enough. Get, I don't know if they've got good, but hopefully they will. Let's jump to the half season point and see where we are. I'm not trading J Fuck, man. Two and five again. We were just, uh, I don't know. I'm not, I'm just going right to this. This is fucking bullshit. Who we got here for free agents? Corey Coleman's not developing. You're not, like, we're cleaning house. Ogba, Ogba, because he's a god. Ogba's that dude. We'll see if he wants to come back. Uh, fuck you then. You want more money. You suck my dick. Literally all these guys can go. We need a clean house here. Try to go all in for year five. As we're not going to make the playoffs this year. Let's just straight up go. We'll go to the playoffs so we can check the rear end stats. But we need a complete overhaul and a Hail Mary to have some success in the final year. Because I think this year, 2-5 and five right now, probably a write-off. Alright, here we are at the end of year number 4. And we finished 6-10. So one more win than we had the year before. But yeah, we're clean house. A lot of free agents, a lot of guys we're going to be letting... Test the market, so see if we can try to get an overall here. 3,900 yards, 25 touchdowns, 15 picks from Kaiser. We got 1,100 yards, 15 touchdowns on Barkley. That's actually a pretty good year from him. Uh, receiving, Corey Coleman, 79 catches, 770 and 5. Eh. Joku's been very solid for us throughout. 65 catches, 705 yards, 5 touchdowns. 1,000 yards and 8 touchdowns from Sutton. 966 and 4 from our big money free agency signing Alshon. That's not good enough at all. Uh, 146 tackles for Kirksey, 109 from Peppers, 105 from Sean Dion Hamilton. We got 14 and a half sacks from Miles Garrett, 13 and a half from Collins, 7 and a half from Danny Shelton. And interceptions, hey, they're up a little bit. Kendred, somehow, guess starting strong safety, four picks, three from Hayden, and one from Jamar Taylor. Uh, we, we're not even going to go through the full awards. We'll just look at the MVP, went to Aaron Rodgers, and coach of the year went to Dan Quinn. But uh, I just want to get through the playoffs here and try to set up a big year five with some big free agents. I don't know what our cap situation is going to be exactly, but hopefully there's some guys here that we can just you know completely try to buy ourselves a Super Bowl. All right, so the Super Bowl here in year number four, the Broncos went over the Patriots 42 to 17, and the Falcons dominate the Rams. Fit well, I mean not dominate, but high scoring game 56 to 32, and in the Super Bowl, high scoring again. The Falcons finally get the job done. Matty Ice and the Falcons beat the Broncos 44 to 38. But now, I mean, who cares a shit about that? It's all about how much money are the Browns going to spend to try and buy a Super Bowl title? That is the question. But then again, I wouldn't be surprised with the way things have gone, especially in terms of the free agency pool. There to not be, we don't even have that whole lot of money, but for there not to be any big names, big fishes we can catch on the end of our rod. 
Ooh, okay. Oh, my fuck. Miles, yeah, okay. So we're going to start here. Philip Rivers. I'm debated. That's a tough call here because he is the uh, sim god, but we'll leave him alone. Uh, no upgrade at running back. Ooh, Jesus. Tyree Kill a 90. Come on, Richards. How Sean. Okay, Tyreek Hill is on the maybe pile. We'll throw him on the maybe pile. Offensive line, we're still looking. I mean, our O-line's not, I don't know, understand. Our offensive line's been good. Everyone's over an 80. Oh, my God. Do we dare try to bring in Chris Jones? Mister, you bring him in, you're cursed. He's always a guy we try to splurge on. Oh, Jesus. Okay, we got Collins. We got Buck. Okay, that's what we'll do. We'll, we'll bring in Buckner. So, we got Buckner. Miles Jack. Holy shit, okay. Here's what, okay, we're going secondary. All in here on the secondary. We even have enough money to do that. See if we can get Keanu Neal. He's gonna, oh, he's gonna cost a lot. Is that? Is that enough? The Jags got pillaged here, okay. We're gonna try to basically buy every Jacksonville Jaguar we can find and afford to try to get ourselves a ring. But we'll start here with Keanu Neal. Ooh, it's gonna be expensive. All right, we got Keanu Neal. Free safety, oh, we, oh, ah. Bradbury, Vernon, Hargraves. We'll bring in uh, Vernon Hargraves. I mean, there's already Burns here. We all know there's a cult following of already Burns on the channel. But uh, we have to, man, we have to go with the secondary players. I know Miles Jack would be nice, but I think getting two impact corners would mean a little bit more to this roster. I mean, Tyreek Hill was there on the offensive side of the ball, but I'm not really, I'm not so worried. We got Alshon. Our last big money splurge. Is this enough? Vernon Hardgraves. Give me Vernon Hardgraves. Well, let's give me Vernon Hardgraves. Oh my fuck, come on! You're nickeling down me here. There we go. Alright, so we gotta go big in the secondary. I think that's where our issues have lied. Uh, would have been nice maybe to get Buckner. Maybe we didn't go all in on the secondary. Could have helped us out a little bit getting Buckner. Um, let's just see. We went all in on the secondary. There's no other way to put it. And let's go right to the draft. All right, before we get to the draft, as always, let's spend that little bit of sweet, sweet nectar. That XP. Kaiser got a little bit there. Maybe be able to get him up to an 82. Maybe that's the, the the range we need to get. Just a wild card. Even a wild card, I'll be fine with. Okay, we don't need a whole lot of here. So let's go. Let's get right to the draft, and we'll catch back up here before a big time year number five. All right, here we go, baby. Year number five. How do we do in the draft? Well, we did good and bad. That's pretty much the only way you can define it. In the first round, we went left defensive end. We have no more Emmanuel Agba, who disappointingly... Didn't carry over his production from the first rebuild. So now we got Cedric Coghill, a 3-4 run stopper, 78 overall with the 8th pick. And in the second round, we got Alan Dunbar, who's a 77 overall, didn't attend the comp. So pretty much anyone that didn't attend the combine that I found that's in the first two rounds, maybe even three rounds, they're studs. They're absolute studs. Missed on a middle linebacker. We have been unable to find a partner for Christian Kirksey in all these drafts. In the fourth round, we've been really good at drafting wide receivers. We got a 75 overall wide receiver from Auburn, Felix Ryzen, and then the rest of the draft was fairly disappointing, but three impact playmakers. Uh, well, let's be honest. Well, we always have a good running back, too. It seems like in this sim, they always want two running backs, and Coghill will start. So I think mission accomplished. Would have been nice to get a good middle linebacker to pair for that 3-4 middle, but, uh, you know, this is all it. We're all or nothing. This is our Hail Mary to try to bring it all home here. So let's go right now to the beginning of season number five. All right, here we go. Getting ready for year number five. We tried to, sp we pretty much spent all our salary caps. So here's our depth chart as uh, we're trying our best to buy ourselves a Super Bowl. Deshaun Kaiser up to an 82 overall in the original rebuild. We get up to a 95. So clearly a little bit of a discrepancy here. Running back, we have Saquon Barkley, 8 or 4. And our second round draft pick, Alan Dunbar from Alabama here, 77 to be our two headed running back attack. 
Fullback is this guy, Cross. Cool. Uh, we got Alshon Jeffrey, 85. Sutton, 80. And Richards, 80. We go along with Ryzen, 75. Again, I think you could debate. We don't have a great wide receiver core, but certainly that's good enough. Three 80s to be able to be confident. Those should be three guys that, you know, Alshon should be a 1,000-yard guy. And maybe Richards, potentially. I mean, he has that superstar development trait as well. Uh, so, I mean, on paper, not the best wide receiver core, but that is good enough to win some ball games. They go along with an 84 overall tight end, David Njoku, and uh, 78 backup tight end, Pimentel. Pimentel? Pimentel? Who cares? Uh, overall, this is a good enough wide receiver core, in my opinion. Offensive line, good old Joe Thomas surviving all five years still. You know, we should have, we never should have got rid of him in the first rebuild. All right, I'll admit my mistake there. He's an 80. Betonio, 84. We got Treader, 83. Zeitler, 84. And right tackle, Weathersby, 81. Uh, didn't develop any, but still average offensive line overall. What you say, 83, 84. Again, good enough to at least make the playoffs. All right. Uh, left defensive end, we got Cog Hill, our first round pick, 78 overall. We needed that. At right defensive end, we got Miles Garrett staying at an 89. D tackle, Danny Shelton, 87. Both those guys have been beasts for us. Linebacker core is Jamie Collins, 86. Kirksey, 86. Sean Dion Hamilton, 72. And right side linebacker, Lorenzo Carter's up to a 77 overall. Uh, you know, overall linebacker core, not bad. Secondary is where we spent all our money. We got Jalen Ramsey, Vernon Hargraves, Jalen Collins, Andre Burst, Tease Tabor, Brian Body Calhoun coming in in the back. Like that, come on. That is an elite secondary if I've ever seen one. Free safety, we got Andrew Adams, 83 overall. And strong safety, Count O'Neill, 90. This, come on. We, we just bought ourselves at least wild card. That's all I'm asking. We're not going to mess around with the half season port. We're going to sim straight to the playoffs because this is our final season. So let's hope. Cross your fingers, cross your dicks, cross everything. Let's get into the playoffs. All right, here we are at the end of the road. We haven't, I haven't checked anything out yet. We have no game. So let's just, uh, let's just hope that we got the bye. That's all we can hope for right now. And we finished year number five. A lot of positives. We might have won the division. 12 and 4. Just like that. All it took was pulling a New York Giants and investing all of your cap money on the defensive side of the ball. That's actually that's 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 what admired this shit. So we get ready for finally some gameplay here. Can we come first? Were we the number one team in the NFL? Number three. We'll take number three in the NFL. We certainly will. And a first round bye. We're looking quickly at our stats. What do we got for our stats here? This show and Kaiser, 4,200 passing yards, 31 touchdowns, and 9 picks. I'll take that every day of the week. Run the ball, th almost 1,400 yards, 14 touchdowns with Saquon Barkley, 612 from Dunbar. Good two-headed running back attack. Receiving, we got 88 catches, 853 and 4 from Sutton, 70, 961 and 5 from Alshon, 68, 1,008 from Amon Richards, and 671 and 8 from David Njoku, who's been low-key very, very good for all five years. Uh, the defensive side of the ball, Christian Kirksey's been a monster. 141 total tackles. We get uh, 11 and a half sacks from Miles Garrett, eight from Jamie Collins. But oh, come on, we have some picks. Six picks from Keon O'Neill. Six picks from Jalen Ramsey. Three from Kirksey. Three from Vernon Hargraves. Two from Sean Dion Hamilton and a bunch of other guys. So clearly, it, the investment paid off. We got we just bought 12 interceptions. How many of these? Where are these returned? Where are these returned for a touchdown? Two of them were returned. Keon O'Neill, monster. Florida Gator. That's how he does it. Let's quickly look at the final season awards here. MVP went to Philip Rivers. I said we should have signed Philip Rivers. We had Philip. Well, I didn't say we should have signed. We saw him as an available free agent. I knew he is over. Everyone on that Giants team is overpowered in the sim. We decided to stay with Kaiser. Uh, I still think he, he did a good enough job. Number seven, but I don't know if the Giants necessarily got that by. Uh, Coach of the year went to Mike Zimmer. Oh, they're twelve and four, same record. So we would have been no further ahead, I guess, if we would have got Philip Rivers. But, um, yeah, I'll take that. And what do we have? Offensive Player of the Year. We got Kaiser at number seven. Defensive Player of the Year. We got Kirksey at number three. Uh, Alan Dunbar, second for Offensive Rookie of the Year. Felix Rise in eighth. Defensive Rookie of the Year. We had uh, Coghill, 8-10. QB went to Kaiser, running back. We got Barkley at number five. Wide receiver. We got Amon Richards. Amon. Amon, Amon. Amon Richards at number 10. O-line. Joe Thomas, number 2. We got Zeitler, Batonio, 7 and 8. D-line. No one. Linebacker. Christian Kirksey at number 6. 
at defensive back, Keanu Neal 1, Jalen Ramsey 2. Money well spent. So now we get that first round buy. Oh, it tastes so sweet. Buying that Super Bowl. That's how you rebuild. We're called, we should rename this New York Giants Rebuilding. But yeah, let's go right here to the wild card playoff week. We're taking on the 11 4 1 Patriots. They don't have Tom Brady, so I'm not as worried as I could or should be. But let's see what we can do here against the Patriots and our first time controlling this vision of the Cleveland Browns. All right, here we go with the simulation. How we are going to do this is a little bit different than we've done in years past, just because I feel like I have a little too much influence over the sim. We're only going to be picking it up. We're going to let the, our team that we built play unless we get in the red zone on offense. That's when we will take over. Oh, there we go, red zone. I feel it's just appropriate just to finish off drives. And I guess, you know, I'm not saying like I'm automatic every single time, but you also want to play at the rosters a little bit. Let's go. Get Sutton and Jeffrey. Either option's looking great. Or we'll a sack. A sack is also a valuable uh, valuable answer for what we were going to offer up there on third down. We'll be able to equalize here with Myers for the field goal to tie this game up at three. A piece. We're at the dog pound, baby. Come on. Let's keep it going. Let's get it rocking and rolling. We got that secondary. So I'm expecting our defense to hold this Patriot offense. Oh god. Oh, we turned the ball over. Oh my god. We're we're not making we're not we're not taking the most of our opportunities here, people. I mean we can make another field goal. I call timeout. I really should have we should have ran something else. We should have made an offensive play. That's really what we needed there. We'll take the field goal. We'll be down eleven and going into halftime. Could be worse. Red zone, there we go. So yeah, let me know if you guys like this style more. I mean, usually I take over all on offense, but if you like this more condensed, where I don't have as much influence, let me know. I'm trying to, you know, obviously, this will be my final rebuild, official rebuild anyways, of the Madden season. Alshon, touchdown, GG easy. But you guys run to see, for Madden 18, me to continue to do what I did for most of it, where I play a lot of play the moments, or if I just do something like I just play third downs, or red zone, perhaps. Uh, so I don't have so much of my own influence on the game. Uh, let me know what you guys feel. Input is required. Oh, come on. Defense needs to do a better job. Let's get a touchdown here. Keep us right in the game. Alshon Jeffrey is winning his matchup a lot. Let's see if we can send Njoku on a slant. Oh, hey, we're, throwing, we got, hey, we're able to get it away. We haven't had a C4 special. We got two picks already from Kaiser, so he's feeling the pressure of his first start. We're going to continue to see if we can beat them apart here with the slants in the middle of the field. Boom! There we go. Amon Richards. Give me that touchdown, baby. Take the slants all day. Cheap slants, don't care. It's all about winning. All red zone, okay. Slants again. It's worked every single time. Oh, let's go! Rushing touch. That big motherfucker Kaiser gets in. That's all we needed. Defense come up strong. Let's go to the next round. That's all we need. Make it, hey, buddy, let's go. Suck it, Patriots. We get the victory in a very close game. Who's their quarterback? Hey, some random guy replacing Tom Brady. But a 31 to 24 victory, exactly what we needed. Let's get ready for that AFC championship game. Two touchdowns from Kaiser. Let's go. All right, here we go. We're in the conference championship, taking on. The 11 and, or the, what? Get your goddamn eyes fixed. The 14 and 2 Denver Broncos at mile high. Very tough game, but we win this game. We're into the Super Bowl. You can't uh, win the raffle if you don't buy a ticket, and we are trying to punch our ticket here at mile high. All right, here we go. AFC Championship at mile high. We will once again only be taking over in the red zone to keep it, try to, you know, 
have as least influence as possible throughout the most influential point of the game between the 20s. That's that's not so much true. I'm just talking to my ass. Let's go and try to win this goddamn ball game. Scramble out the pocket. Come on, Alshon. There you go. Alshon Jeffrey, Eagles all fucking day. Let's get it. Contested catch comes down with it. What a monster. Oh, okay, this is going to be a shootout. Okay, I see how it is. It's going to be a shootout. Red zone, thank you. All right, third and five. Hmm, do we surprise them with the run? Or do you find something else in our wheelhouse? Bench is a good play. Ah, I like that one. Tight end corner. And Joku has been very, very good throughout all five seasons. So let's see if he can get into the end zone on this play. Go for it all. Or the play breaks down, and we'll just scramble with our big, gigantic quarterback, all 240 pounds of Deshaun Kaiser. Getting it to the 11. Let's keep it rocking and rolling. Loving these unis. We're using these retro unis. Let's use the slant. You know, we all here watch this goddamn overpowered, cheap. God, this guy sucks at Madden slant passes. That just seem to keep working. I don't know why. Oh, we got the fucking holding penalty. Okay, we'll back that back. 15. Okay, referee. Okay. Batonio. Goddamn neckbeard over here. Alright, let's go. Corner strike, maybe. Alshon's been feeding. The two I mean, this is our first time taking over this team, but I'm really feeling Alshon Jeffrey. Getting used for Madden 18 when I use my Eagles. Oh. Ooh. Ooh. I don't know why it made me take over for him. Ooh. Alright, let's try this. Why stick? Huh? Who would that stick? Young Chiga. You guys know that song? Wasn't that popular for a little bit? Let's lead him. Alshon makes the nice catch to put up to the six. Let's go no hub. I like that. I like that that uh, unit we had on the field there. Going with the spread offense. Let's go level switch. We'll have Njoku run the slant. Give me that all day long. All right, and a turnover. Oh no, no no. Okay, red zone. Okay, exactly what we needed here. Thirty seconds left. And we had two turnovers, so we're in our control. Pro well, I mean, guess one of those could be that interception that wasn't. Oh my God. Okay, accuracy. Not feeling it right now with Deshaun Kaiser. Accuracy. I'm not. We're not in sync here. We're not on the same level. Let's see if we can run something else. We have the Browns under a Brown specific play, but let's try to get Saquon Barkley. Let's not forget we have a very dynamic playmaker out of our backfield with good hands. So like that. Okay. Just in time for the C4 special. We don't want to burn that time out just yet. Let's see if we can get one playoff. Okay, maybe we should have burned that time out. Now we just wasted way too much fucking time. Oh my god, this is Andy Reid level of clock management. You better get in that touchdown there. There, okay. Unlike Andy Reid, we can actually finish the drive. Needed that touchdown. Three point ball game here. Saquon getting close to the first down. Is that third and one? All right, I can work with that. Let's go. Bench switch. We get Alshon in the back of the end zone somewhere like that. That'd be great. Or Cortland Sutton. We have him. You know he's good. Oh, we'll just check it down to Amon Richards, who does just enough. Get up the two-yard line. Let's just see. Let's just see four special. Just punch it in. That's all we need. We need to get this touchdown and then a stop. And then, uh, I don't think our defense is going to play well enough to get this stop. But, I would, you know, I'm, I'm not going to, you know, we, we invested a lot of money. We had 12 picks from two big money free agent signings. I can't put it past them. 
Let's go to the C4 special. Oh, they read that right. Don't matter. Saquon Barkley, second rushing touchdown of the game. Still that three-point ball game. goal. I'm going to take this shit over. I'm going to take this shit over because I want that Super Bowl bad. Right, let's try to get a play to go in the middle of the field so we can get it to the two-minute warning. As always, you know, I'm a vet of the sim. You do not want to give them any time whatsoever. So we'll get the first down there. We'll bleed it to the two-minute warning. And then we'll try to make some magic happen. We can make war, we'll make babies. Believe me. Method man. Okay. I mean, we even we only need a field goal to tie, but I want that win. We need that victory. I want the full, full seven points here. Well, that was a high throw. If we would have let them, that would have been a smoother pass. That could have gone for a much larger play. We'll, go, we'll stay with that out route, though. See if we can hit him on the corner strike. Love this play. This play is beautiful. Thing of beauty. But we'll look at the quick check down for the first down to our backup tight end. We'll play it safe up to the 50. I mean, with our kicker right now, we get five more yards. We're able to tie this ball game up, even though they do have the timeouts to give us that weird, stupid camera angle bullshit. We are kind of, you know, conserving the clock here, which is not exactly what I want to do. Not the strategy I would like to have deployed. Oh, come on. There we go. Alshon. Alshon Jeffrey has yet to really, you know, live up to full expectations with, uh, you know, how much money we, we paid him to come in a couple years ago. But, you know, when we're using this team, Alshon is paying for himself right now. Put the check down. Gain of three, you know, still moving up, just creeping up. Uh, strong flood. You gotta be careful. We have the two clock still on. Can't we gotta remember that? Be conscientious. Send Joku across. Oh, and we get sacked. I'll right, we'll burn time out there. Inside switch, maybe. All right, here we go in overtime. Now, I'm not going to follow the rule here in overtime because I think it's more important to break the rule and try to get the Browns a Super Bowl title. So let's go. I'll get my hands all over this shit. Alshon Jeffrey. Top of the screen. We'll scramble here a little bit. Oh, oh. There we go. He's a mobile. Sean Kaiser, not necessarily the fastest quarterback, but he's athletic. Probably the same, realistically, Kaj is probably the same kind of athlete that, oh, I like that. Even though, oof. the same kind of athlete I think is like Carson Wentz.
not looking good, fellas. It is not looking good. Third and 20. The pressure is a One game away from the promised land, I shit the fucking bed. Maybe I should have followed my own rule. Let, let that guy, fucking Riley Cooper's offspring, win the goddamn game. But it was what hell of a ride. Typical, we've had ups, we've had downs throughout this rebuild process here on Beast Mode TV in the Madden 17 season. We're well over a million total views for all the videos. We have the most popular rebuild, the Lamar Jackson on the Miami Dolphins, out of anyone that does rebuilds on YouTube. But that's all credit. To you guys, so thank you all for staying tuned. This, you know, you've never subscribed, you've watched this whole season in here unfold. Feel free to hit that subscribe button now, and we're gonna you know we're gonna be doing this thing bigger and better. Continue to innovate the game and improve upon what's already here in Madden 18. So thank you guys all for watching, and until next time, it's C4 saying peace.